Okay, Stu, it's been exactly a week since we've seen Geloff and Soderstrom make their debuts. First, Geloff had an extra base hit in each of his first three MLB games. To join Shea Langoliers, Johannes Cespedes, and Jason McDonald of the late 90s as the only Oakland players to do that. What are your first impressions? You know, my, my impressions of these guys is one, they won't be here, they wouldn't be here uh -huh. if they don't have the capabilities of playing here. Right. Uh, I'm one of those guys, Brody, we, we, we've been going through this for, for years now. I'm, I'm with these guys, I like to see them accumulate more at-bats. Right now, they don't have enough at-bats to really know what we're going to get from right. them. Um, but they have the talent and they have the skill to be here both defensively and offensively. So I just like to see them get more at bats. Right now they look like they're trying to learn yeah. the league. And the league, this is the top league. And a lot of the guys that they're facing, they're, they're not facing a whole lot of rookies. They're yeah. facing veterans who've been at the top of their game here at the big league level. And that takes some adjustment. Geloff, a 292 hitter, 37 dingers in three seasons across the minors, obviously. To your point, he'd love for that to translate at the major league level. Okay, uh, Tyler Soderstrom, and let's also discuss this, Stu. Does it feel a little bit like mid-season 2017 when the A's brought up Chapman and Olsen together? There is something about this tandem, and I obviously understand Soderstrom has struggled at the plate thus far. But it's interesting to bring up these two together at the same time. Well, you bring them up together, and, and, and you really want to see that. I mean, you want to get these guys playing under, with each other, learning each other's body language, learning what, what, what they're about, and, and also creating leadership. These yeah. guys will, will create future leadership for this right. squad. But the other piece of the puzzle, and we're not talking about it, is Nick Allen. Nick Allen is still here, still here at the big league level. And so you're looking at what could possibly be the three major pieces that stick with this club long term. Soderstrom obviously has the first hit and first couple hits out of the way, Stu, but three for 21. Seven strikeouts of those 21 um, uh, at-bats there. And he's grounded to three double plays. Safe to say that he's still waiting for, like, the breakthrough at the plate? Yeah, but, I mean... Also, let, let's remember um, at AAA, yeah, he, he was a 250 hitter, right? And so 250 um, may not translate very well here, here at the big yeah. league level. Uh, I think what got him here was the, was the power numbers, the power numbers that he's displayed throughout the minor leagues. Yeah, he's displayed that he can hit the ball and hit the ball out of the ballpark. What are the Oakland A's notorious right. for right. having power hitters in their lineup? So, Zach and Tyler draft picks of the last several seasons, respectively. How about the draft class of 2023? The A's have agreed uh, to terms with 19 of their first 21 selections from this past year's player draft, including each of their first 18 picks. Stu, uh, this seems procedural, right? Teams do this. Mm -hmm. they, they agree with their top players. But is it a big deal? I think it is. I think uh, having all your players, uh, you draft them, you want right. to sign your players. Right. Um, I, I think that the A's do a very, very good job of understanding if their guys are going to be signable right. um, when they draft them. Right. Because you don't want to give away draft picks. Um, the A's have also been an organization that hasn't, hasn't had a problem with overpaying for a slot. For example, Nick Allen was drafted in a slot, but he got first round, lower first round money. So they do pay over the slot I mean, in some particular cases. But in other cases, I think they do a very good job of managing their money, paying where they have to, yeah. and getting good talent in other areas where they don't have to pay as much, but you're still getting good players. They've been great at talent evaluation. Where's Where's Kyler Murray these days, by the way? Uh, Is he doing okay somewhere? Doing I hope okay so. okay in that same <laughs> with, with those Cardinals of Arizona.